Team USA has finally been announced for the 2023 Monster Energy Motocross of Nations in France this year, and it will be Aaron Plessinger, RJ Hampshire, and Christian Craig going for the Americans as they look to defend their title from last season. It was a very long and drawn out process. Obviously, there's a lot of ins and outs to what goes into selecting a team for the Motocross of Nations, and a lot of people also criticize this decision of why we didn't have Chase Sexton and these other riders on the team. So let's talk a little bit about it. First off, if we look back to last year, of course, it was the team of Eli Tomac, Justin Cooper, and Chase Sexton who won the championship and the Chamberlain Trophy with it at the 2022 Motocross of Nations at Redbud. That team and its entirety is unavailable this year. Of course, Eli Tomac has a ruptured Achilles that he is still recovering from, and Justin Cooper is actually getting married the same weekend as the Motocross of Nations were gonna happen this year, so he is also unavailable. As for Chase Sexton, he tried to make this work, he really did, but unfortunately he is switching to Red Bull KTM, we believe in this off season, and because of that, and with the date lining up at that time where he would be switching to the new motorcycle, it just became too big of a hurdle for many factors in, involved in Sexton's contract negotiations for it to uh, be overcome, so he will not be available either. Then you look at other riders that would be out there. Why is Hayden Deegan not going? Well, it sounds like Monster Energy Yamaha Star Racing is electing not to support the program this year and put a team out there, so that obviously takes Cooper Webb off the table as a potential option for a 450 rider. Monster Energy Kawasaki of late has historically not supported this event and the Americans going to it as well. So Adam C. and Cerlo and Jason Anderson uh, in the 450 class would have been unavailable. And then we're getting down to riders like Justin Barsha on Troy Lee Red Bull Gas Gas. But Barsha, we believe, is also getting a little bit of uh, tune up this offseason from some injuries that he's been dealing with. So he is also unavailable. Pretty quickly, it was established that Aaron Plessinger was going to be the main guy to go out of Red Bull KTM. He was really strong in the Nationals this year, of course, finishing inside of the top five in the points and was seated second in the SMX playoffs coming in because he was the second highest points earner on a 450 all season long. So more or less, aside from Chase Sexton, he was the best American uh, to choose from. Beyond that, it became pretty obvious that the MX2 selection with no Hayden Deegan, Justin Cooper, Star Yamaha not supporting us, so Levi Kitchen not going, would of course be RJ Hampshire, who was in the mix for this uh, 250 championship all season long. But where it became a little bit more of a ruffled situation was that Hampshire was likely going to be put on a 450 because trying to figure out a slot that they could put someone on a 250. Uh, perhaps someone like a Levi Kitchen, who is uh, going to be switching over to Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki, could jump on that bike and go or maybe Maximus Voland, who we believe is also switching teams this offseason. Maybe Red Bull KTM could extend his contract a little bit longer. We heard names like Jalik Swole and others thrown around as potential MX2 options. Eventually, we get down to Plessinger, Hampshire, and Craig. That is the team number one, number two, and number three. Plessinger will be the number one machine racing in the MXGP class. RJ Hampshire, the number two machine racing in the MX2 class. And Christian Craig coming off of a very serious injury that he of course sustained, uh, sustained in Supercross with his elbow will be racing the MX Open class and be number three on that team. So of course there's a lot of criticism behind it, but this is a group of riders that wanted to go and race for the United States in France, and they're all very excited about it as well. Here's what each of them had to say. Of course, Plessinger has already raced before at the Motocross of Nations. He was the MX2 rider in 2018 at Redbud, but he does say it feels really great to get to be on Team USA again. And I'm very fortunate to have this opportunity to go race for my country. This is one race that I always look forward to, and we have some big shoes to fill with what the boys did last year. So I'm ready for the challenge. I've got some really awesome teammates, a great team surrounding us, and we're gonna go give it our all over in France. As for RJ Hampshire, Hampshire has wanted to race this race many years over, finally gets that opportunity, but this will of course be his first time going representing the USA. And he says, I'm super excited to represent my country. I'm a proud American and will do my best to put our colors up front. It is also a similar situation for Christian Craig who will be representing the USA for the first time. And the KG veteran had this to say, I'm extremely honored to be able to represent the USA this year at the Motocross of Nations. Aaron, RJ, and I will do everything possible to make our country proud. So that is what the riders have to say. They are, of course, fired up to go race and represent the United States over in France. That, of course, is happening on October 7th at Ernay 
in France, so you want to tune in. Then we'll get we'll keep you guys updated on all the ins and outs of happening as we get to the closer time of that race happening. Uh, but for now, we're focusing on SMX and seeing if these guys that are also going to be racing for the USA can keep the ball rolling in Super Motocross. And this has been your RacerX Rapid News presented by Fly Racing. Be sure to visit racerxonline.com for all your motocross and supercross news. Yeah.